you're trying to burr multifamily properties, this is the show for you. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks, the show where I help investors invest in real estate of all types, right? Wholesale, burr, turnkey, flips. We do it all, okay? And today I'm working with an investor from Austin, Texas named Paula. And Paula, you've been looking at several strategies, two of which are multifamilies and burrs. And you know what I'm going to do, Paula? Number one, I'm going to go to a commercial break and fix my TV. Number two, I'm going to get into the details on a multifamily burr for you. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's pull up the property and get into the details. This is a, a very cool and unique deal, right? What you get with this, you get this four-unit apartment building. And folks, four-unit apartment buildings, in my opinion, are the best investment you could ever make as a real estate investor when you're getting started, okay? Maybe when you're 40 years into the game and you've got thousands of units under your belt doesn't matter that much but at the beginning it's great why because this is the most amount of rental units you can get and still qualify for a residential mortgage right residential mortgages are 30 years fixed interest low interest you only need 25 percent down okay the negative to those is they only work for single families duplexes triplexes quads right so a quad most rent you can get using one of those mortgages and you only get 10 of those things right so if you're 40 years down the road thousands of properties you're probably not getting any more residential mortgages but at the beginning it's very nice to use up those mortgages on quads now this is interesting though right we have the quad okay but in addition to that there's also this single family home on the lot right you would get that too so what we'd probably want to do here is work out some type of bird deal because the property's a little distressed, okay? Uh, doing the bird deal, what would probably happen uh, is you would maybe refinance just the apartment building or maybe refinance it with two residential loans. Truth be told, uh, it may get a little sticky. You probably want to talk to lenders directly, right? And I got access to lenders if you need those, Uh because, you know, we've done a lot of quads. We've done a lot of deals where sometimes there's not conforming things where there's like a duplex in the front and then like a single family in house in the back. And some letters are cool that some letters are not. This would be the first time I've ever seen a single family in a quad on the same lot. But I'm like 99% sure we could get it done as a nice old refi one way or the other, whether it's one, probably two mortgages, right? You probably want to do two mortgages. Or maybe you just do one mortgage, but only on the one uh, home and then you don't even refi out the little house right you just keep that as a bonus right and maybe you don't want to blow one of your mortgages on such a little house okay there's like several different ways we can go about this but the price point is just so damn low right this is just such a great deal we got to try to get in there i suggest we get in there cash and try to figure out the rest later now we have two units that are occupied and two units that are empty and from what I'm understanding, they're in like halfway decent shape, but we still need to get in there and do some work, right? Like we got like a broken out window right there and, you know, just everything is not like tip top, right? Like this is all jacked up and we got three total vacancies, right? The house and two vacancies there, right? So here's what they got going on, which by the way, the address is 1636 Squire Street in Lorraine. And dude, it used to be listed at 200K. They just dropped it down like 80 grand. I guess they want to dump this thing and they're just done dealing with it it's been on the market for 113 days now that it's 119 we got to move okay so i think we try to pick it up at 119 and then i'm going to factor in about 40 grand of repairs right here's what we got going on you got two occupied units and they're below market rent they're paying 590 550 then you got three vacant units two in the quad 
that single family house. Market rent for all this, that's 3,650 bucks, right? 43,800, this thing's a cash cow. So I'm thinking we factor in at least 40K up front, right? Probably drop some money into the three vacant units, and then that's gonna go ahead and give us another little buffer, a little bit of extra money for things that may or may not come about, right? Because there seems to be some distressed action. Like, not a lot of stuff is newer, right? So I'm just really trying to set you guys up with the proper expectations, knowing that we got some deferred maintenance action. We got some units that need some love. We got that single house that needs some love, right? So we're going to assume we're going to drop 40 into this, right? So all in investment at 160000 with the market rents, right? And, it, you know, it could take some time to get those rents up to 750 right? It could take a little bit of time to get those units up, right? So you don't want to deal with a turnover. You want to just slowly increase the rents or leave them where they are because if you add a turnover into that mix, we're going to go over our budget, right? But long term, 3650 comes in. I anticipate you spending a little over 20 to operate this thing, leaving you with an NOI of approximately 23 And this is where it gets good, folks. This is where it gets good. The value here is really 200 Possibly even more, but I'm just going off of 200, which is just probably a mortgage on like the quad, right? 200, bank gives you back 150. You only spent 160 to get into this deal, leaving you with a down payment of only $10,000, right? You're only going to have $10,000 stretch out in the deal. If you got all the rents up to market without two more additional turnovers, you're looking at like 157% cash on cash return, right? And even if like, uh, the refinancing situation takes some time. It gets a little sticky. I think it's totally worth it for the amount of rents we are able to generate out of this sucker for such a low purchase price, right? So the fact that they went from 200 down to 120 to dump it, I think we need to swoop in and pick it up, right? I think a lot of properties in Lorraine, right, if you're in the Cleveland market looking at stuff, I think you're getting a lot better value out of Lorraine than Cleveland because Lorraine is kind of – it's like off the radar, right? You hear LeBron, the Cavs, the Indians, the Guardians, the Browns, right? All that is Cleveland. Cleveland Browns, Cleveland Indians, Cleveland Guardians, Cleveland Cavs. LeBron's from Cleveland. Well, LeBron's not even from Cleveland, folks. LeBron's from Akron, which is south of Cleveland, about the same distance that Lorraine is west of Cleveland, right? So it's something that people are not paying attention to on the national spotlight. Like, we couldn't pick this opportunity up in Cleveland for this price. Too many investors would have paid attention and gobbled it up, right? This is kind of like a... You know, a little off the radar area. And Holton Wise, we are doing incredibly well out there in Lorraine. And I think you could be doing incredibly well too. Like I said, though, I think it's going to make the most sense to go in with a cash offer. And we'll have to figure out the refi situation a little bit later. Uh, definitely want to talk to lenders, though, because it could get a little sticky uh, with the fact that that single family is also on the lot, right? But anyway, you slice it when you can get this much rent for this little of a price in a pretty solid, stable, C grade neighborhood, you got to make the move. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.